All right, all right. I got a spirit slash ghost story for you guys. All right, all right. All right. So there's a house in Wyndham. Yep. That has um, actually, all right. Well, I'll tell you two if I got time, but I'll tell you one for sure. All, all right. right. There's a house in Wyndham. Okay, a girl was playing hide and go seek outside of this house. She was six years old, and she got underneath a cardboard box and was out on the road. Um, she ended up getting hit by a semi. And now today, or in previous years, she has haunted this house or these two houses um, as she got killed in between both of them. Wow. And uh, one day, she, uh, these, um, this kid, there's this guy now that is close to being uh, like 40 years old, uh, used to live there, and he uh, had a waterbed. And he would feel his waterbed rise in the middle of the night like someone would sit on the other side. And uh, also, like, he'd be in the shower, and it'd be like a little girl would come up and try to, like, play. Like, you know, you've got a little girl or something, like, she just wants to mess around. Yeah. And she started banging on the doors while they're in the middle of the shower, and nobody's outside the doors. Dang, dude. And this is and, in Wyndham. Uh, then there was another – this is in Wyndham. Wow. And then another time, there was uh, – it was part of this as well. Um, a girl – or these two adults were laying in bed. And the same, like, uh, either one of these two houses, and a vase went from one room to the other, or other side of the room and broke across, uh, across the wall. Really? How long ago was the cardboard box, yep. girl? Yeah, when was this? When did the girl get hit by the semi? This, this was quite a while ago. Like, I'd almost say, like, uh, 40 to, 30 to 40 years, probably. Maybe wow. even more. Is this by your house, Luke? Yeah. Dang. No, this isn't by my house. This is up by, uh, it'd be on the hill by, like, the Sogi Home. Oh, oh really? really? Wow. wow. That's I've crazy. never heard of either of those. Yeah, I haven't yep. heard that before. Is that just, like, a passed down yeah. story from, like, your parents or something? Yeah. Dang. Yeah, I've heard it. Very interesting. That though. is Thank cool. Thank you for my calling parents, in, Luke. What were my, you saying? My parents' friends are the ones that, uh, like, actually have told me and stuff, and that they've been pretty close with over the past, like, 20, 30 years, so. Dang. Well, that's actually a good story. We've had a couple people calling tonight. It's been really dumb stuff, so appreciate you calling in with some solid stories. We have to look into that. That's yeah. weird. But thank you, Luke, for calling in. Hey, have a good bet. night, and we oh, appreciate thanks. you calling in. You too, guys. Love you guys. Love you. See you later. I'll have to meet him if he loves me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what a good guy. Well, we are going to go on a commercial break here. Well, I wouldn't call it commercial break. We don't have commercials. It's the Ethan Clear Podcast Show. But we will be right back. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Ethan Claire Podcast Show. We are talking about everything Halloween on Hollow Eve here. We call it the Hollow the Hollow Eve episode. Damon named it that. Yeah. I like that. And yeah. we've had people call in, a couple good stories, a couple interesting ones. We've been talking about Halloween stuff. Um, I wanted to get into this article. I don't know if you pulled it up, Pete. What were we talking about here? We're talking about the poltergeist curse. Oh yeah, we mentioned we mentioned one of the actresses passing away in yeah. like a story about it. Did you I'm, find anything on that? Yeah, no, we don't have to dove into it. maybe 